myself to push and never stop I've been stressed out, watching both these hands around the clock With my eyes wide, trying to get the panorama shot Whole world getting blurry to me So, this is my adventure with the FTC Otter First we started off with basically the prop was just on incorrectly, wasn't producing enough frost. Now this time we had it on, but we had it on so that the biggest part of the prop when it's spinning around so the leading edge wasn't cutting through the air so it wasn't getting as much frost thrust but as you can see it's actually getting up on the step the right side of this prop was a part cutting through the air as you can see i get it up i go back to neutral probably should have kept up in it and it goes straight into the lake <laughs> luckily it landed straight up so I could drive it back and so this is the same day as of when it went into the lake and never went back to the house we got all the water out most of it as much as we could turned it back on everything seemed to be working so we tried again, but as you can see, I couldn't get it off the ground. I put it full up, a tiny bit up, it was clearly up on the step for a long time, it just wouldn't get up. So, there was water in it, it was heavier than it was before, so that was what happened. So after that flight, when we got home, dried everything off, charged up the batteries, we sat down and thought around and said, Maybe we can flip around the propeller. Maybe it's not on correctly. And sure enough, we never had the leading edge going through the air. So this time, we changed it around and took it up to the pond. Try it, full power, gets up on the step in no time and takes off. It's a crazy flight. After that scary flight, I wasn't too sure about taking it up again, but I said, oh, what odds, I'm here. I have a boat just do it I did it it was way better and I got to land it again there you go that's better okay no. look at how I there you go Look at that, look. Perfect. Got her! Beautiful. So finally, after three attempts of going up to this one pond, we decide to go to a different one, and it turns out it's way better. More room, easier access to get the plane there. Like, the car's, like, right next to the water, essentially. So, it's way easier. And... As you can see, I'm now doing touch and goes, and this plane is a load of fun. I have another project coming up. It's the FT Simple Club on floats. That probably won't happen though until the spring, or if we get a lucky break during winter because it's cold here in Newfoundland. So yeah, the pond might be frozen over enough though for me to go flying airplanes on it though. So. Watch out for a video. Tune in next time.